Greetings, everyone. Hope all of you are having an absolutely fantastic day. We are back again with King Arthur Knight's Tale. Let's do another video breaking down the best characters in each class, this time focusing on vanguards. I will leave links in the description for my individual breakdowns of all three characters listed here. All of this is subjective, so please leave your feedback below regarding what you agree or disagree with and who is in your personal list. Like before, I will list my top two favorites and provide one honorable mention who will give you a different flavor that may not be my personal cup of tea. My honorable mention vanguard is Sir Bedivere. I picked this character because I hate using traps as a vanguard, but I know some people like it, and in my opinion, he is the trap master. Of course he gets bear trap, like most vanguards, but he also has gas trap, which does damage in the 3x3 tile range, easily allowing you to impact large groups of enemies. Master of traps increases your effectiveness with traps overall. What really sets him apart though is lightning trap, which is only available to Sir Bedivere. Once you have upgraded this ability, enemies who triggered it will receive 165% weapon damage and be shocked which will take away up to 50% of their AP. This means he can cause bleeding with bear trap, poison with gas trap, and shock with lightning trap. Obviously, he is a heavy hitter when it comes to crowd controlling large groups of enemies. His talented trait means he only has to spend one skill point to learn active skills, which is going to help your XP go a lot farther. Also, he gains one loyalty point for every other Old Faith hero at the round table. You must play as Old Faith to recruit him, so it should be very easy to max out his loyalty. Sir Bedivere has one major weakness to consider. He does not have jump, which is a core part of the Vanguard arsenal. Instead, he has sprint, which requires you to use all your AP in exchange for movement points. In other words, it is trash. This means he is significantly worse in an assassin role compared to other vanguards. You either use him because you love traps or you leave him alone. Again, I hate traps, so he gets no play on my team. But for those of you who prefer that play style, I think he's a fantastic option. With the honorable mention out of the way, let's get into my personal second best vanguard, Lady Bodicia. She comes with the standard assassin kit of jump, hide, counterattack, backstab, and assassination, making her incredibly deadly in just about any situation. Keep in mind that jump has been nerfed with the recent patch. Now it has a cooldown of at least two turns, whereas before it was available every turn. What makes Bodicia different from other vanguards is she has the unyielding ability, which when upgraded gives her HP every time she hits or kills an enemy. You should be hitting and killing enemies every round, so this makes her significantly more tanky. She can also take dodge, which increases her dodge by 15%. This is a big deal on harder difficulties. There are weaknesses to consider with her. She cannot be recruited until level 12, and you must complete two side quests to convince her to join you. While Bodicia has a couple of different ways to poison enemies, she doesn't have the alchemist ability and therefore cannot make the most out of poison. She also has the mission conscious trait, which means she gains no loyalty from court titles, and since her morality is neutral, she could care less about the decisions you make. This forces you to use her in events just to increase her loyalty. It takes a long time to max loyalty using this method, and she will be unavailable for missions while completing events. In my opinion, she is one of the hardest heroes in the game to achieve max loyalty with. As long as you're okay with these weaknesses, I highly recommend picking up Lady Bodicia. She was capable of clearing rooms by herself before the recent patch. As it stands now, she is still very deadly and a worthy addition to any team. Quick note before we talk about my favorite Vanguard. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate you hitting the like button. This information tells me which content the channel is enjoying and helps my video spread to more people. I really appreciate all of the support. All right, last but not least, we have Sir Tristan, who is, in my opinion, not only the best Vanguard, but also the coolest character in the game. This guy is absolutely amazing. Like Lady Bodicia, he has access to jump, 
hide, counterattack, and backstab, all of which are fantastic. He gets a unique main melee attack called Poison Cut. This attack does poison damage even before you upgrade it. His two blades are lathered in poison, and there's a strange but awesome slushing sound when he hits enemies. He also has Alchemist, which lowers the AP cost of poison-related abilities, but even more importantly, it lowers the damage poison enemies can do by an additional 50%. If you combine Alchemist with the penalties from Poison Cut, you can lower the damage potential of a boss by 90% and effectively shut them down. Lady Baldicia isn't capable of anything close to this. In addition, he's the only character who has Smoke Bomb. This ability makes a 3x3 area shrouded, which means ranged attacks cannot leave or enter the area. Obviously, this will put you at a disadvantage if you use a lot of ranged attacks, but otherwise, it's a fantastic way to provide melee characters with protection. It only costs 2 AP, so Tristan can easily use this ability, move, and attack all in the same turn. Tristan is a member of the Lost, or Undead in this game, and gets the Lost trait, making him immune to poison and bleeding status effects. It also means when he speaks, there's a really cool, raspy, undead sound to his voice. I am here to serve. The Tough trait makes his injuries require one less round to heal. Finally, the Allegiance trait gives you an immediate plus six bonus to loyalty. Tristan has a couple of events that pop up which will increase his loyalty and he can gain loyalty from core titles. All of this together means even though he is neutral like Lady Baldicia, his loyalty meter is much easier to max out. Tristan comes with two significant weaknesses. His main melee attack poison cut costs 4 AP instead of 3 AP. There are some situations where Tristan can only attack once, while Lady Bodicia would be able to attack twice. Tristan also does not have access to assassination, which increases your damage the more health an enemy has lost. Personally, I don't see this as a big deal, since even if he doesn't kill an enemy, he almost completely removes their ability to deal damage. It is a big deal, however, if you like comboing assassination with death hex, which temporarily reduces an enemy's vitality by up to 60%. Proper utilization of these two abilities can bring down even the most powerful bosses. If that synergy is important to you, then Bodicia is obviously the better choice. Outside of these drawbacks, I think Tristan is the strongest Vanguard currently available. That is my personal list of the best vanguards in the game. Looking forward to hearing feedback on your personal favorites. Hope all of you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a like, share this content, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next video. Take care.